All right, Kelvin, uh, it's another week of top decks, mm -hmm. and this is literally a few days before set one gets released. You know, literally a few days left. Like, it gets released on the Saturday for some reason. Um, usually get, they get released on Friday, right? Mm. So... TD yeah. Meta. Mm. All right, so we have TD Meta. We're going to start off with this start deck speed run. Um, Kelvin, this week, how many... Which which nation is going to have the most decks? Dude, no one's going to beat Keter, right? Okay. Keter's so like absolutely stomps. Y your money is still on Keter. Yep. All right. Now, so the other, the other question is, how many decks are running Trick Stars only? And how many decks are running Sunrise Eggs? So, spoilers on the screen, this oh. this deck is already running two Sunrise Eggs. Mm -hmm. So, you, you kind of have a, a one there for Sunrise Egg Clan. Like, Egg egg, egg Gang versus Trickster Gang. You mm -hmm. know, using Trickster as your starter kind of thing. What do you think? Well, I don't know. It's still Star Deck. I mean, it's still Star Deck, but Plus you know. We, we got four of them, so I'll say... 2-2, two, two, just to be safe. 2-2? Two, two. Two, well, two, you, well we're just six. guessing which is more. Are you, are you guessing equal? Are you guessing evens? I'll say equal. Evens? Okay, all right. So let's let's start speeding through the, uh, the start decks then. Let's go. So first one here, you know, Dragon Empire. Surprise, surprise. You do the counting. You do mm -hmm. the counting. So Dragon Empire. This guy's running two Sunrise Eggs just because yep. there's, there's spots that, you know, you, you take what, out. What would you just run for? Oh, you do run for. Yeah, there's four tricks. So this is <laughs> so the you right, run six. right chain. Yeah. Okay, sure. You know, it's a 5k shield, dude. Better than vanilla, which just does cool. absolutely nothing. Um, next we have is this one. This one is... Uh, uh, it's four trick star. Uh, no egg. So, so, so no egg. One. Uh, this one is... Uh, no egg again, it seems. Okay. One, no, 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 no. He, yeah. he has egg. He's oh, good. He has okay. Two to one. Wait. Does he have a right, ch right chain or anything? No? Uh, Just double check. Uh, it's no egg. No egg gang. He's got a face down sleeve card. I think maybe he... Uh, that could be the... He's only running three Nirvana. That like, could be his four right chain cards. Uh, Could be. Well, we don't know. But this one shows no, no, no egg. So it's, so it's no egg. Eggless. This one has egg. So two, one. And then uh, this one has egg as oh, well. Three so, one. So lots of eggs. And then this one has two eggs. Two eggs. I, I guess. I guess for start. No, he has three eggs, dude. Oh my. Whoa, that's so this one is, of this zeros. Is super egg gang, dude. Uh, and then yeah, that was the last one. So, so wow. Or one. Egg gang wings, and we got like what five dragon empire. Huh. Uh, and then we're into dark states. But this one, mm -hmm. this one is from uh, I think it's Brunei, Brunei gang. So nice. we've got a, a good one dark state here. But you know we've got another dragon empire one. Second place don't count. Yeah, so six straight. No, no, these, these they were featured. We're talking about featured decks. Not just who come, comes first. We've got a Keta, uh, and then lastly got another Dark State. So two okay. Dark States. So six one, two one. Yeah, six two one. Okay, uh, another Dark States one. Six three one. Uh, another Dark States. Four one. And another Dark States. Six five one. Wow, Dark States represent. Dude, six six, six one. Alright, right, that's it. So tied. Okay, so tied again. All right, come on. From here on, it's gonna be like Keter, bro. Keter, Keter, it's, Keter it's gonna supremacy. Be like Ten Keters, come on. Okay, so Keter uh, yep, is up two, two now. Keter, six six two. Uh, this is three Keters. Yep. Four Keters. Four. Five. Five, five Keters. All right, all right. Easy. And no. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Only five Keters. Uh, sorry, okay. bro. So, so Dragon Empire and Dark States dominating this week in in reveals. Wow. And now we're starting off with Stoikeas. Uh, got. Probably Magnolia, the oh. second Magnolia, okay. cool. Third Magnolia, okay. all right. Prison oh, gang, done. <laughs> yep. And then, so now this one's just the prison one. Yeah, prison gang, convicts, convict gang, two, uh, three. This is your favorite, um, oh, favorite mat. <laughs> arguable. <laughs> and fourth, and that's the last one. So this week it looks like huh. Dark States and uh and Dragon Empire taking home, man. Six ties. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's move on to V standard. This, like, keep in mind, this is the start deck, so mm. this is pretty much ending this Saturday. We're going to see crazy cool decks next week. Yep. Um, going on to V see. standard. What's going to be fresh and topping? We got no. uh, V standard from Japan, right? So we've got oh, okay. Prism, right? Uh, this is. He's not running. No, no, no. It's no, not Prism. Prism. It's Riviere. Sorry, I got Just... too used to saying Prism. <laughs> um, yeah, we got a Riviere. What do, you, what do you think? Riviere? Cool, cool stuff? Is it still run these days? Is it good well, enough? It's two laser lots, man. Two laser lots. Look, it feels a bit jank, I have to yeah. say. It feels a bit jank. Um, but 
I guess it's, it's like pure Riviera as well. Yeah, like mixing with it. Like we've seen them mixing Riviera with like what Prism and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So kind of kind of weird just to see an old school Riviera deck. Um, next one we have is yep, Prism. Prism. Okay, so Prism Ange. Ange. And um, I think it's got like, what? Sisters and One Tira. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty much I think yeah strongest deck right now. Yep. Um, no Nectaria. Good, Good stuff. stuff. I, I actually do want to test out Nectaria, but <laughs> um, I think our clan selection stuck in Japan. Dude, it got sent from. From, Somewhere from America, America to Japan, yeah, <laughs> and then that, and now we're waiting for the delivery from Japan. It's yeah. like, I, don't I don't know, know. I don't know what's gonna happen with Japan, man. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, next one we have is we're going to Dragon Empire. We've got, we've got Dirt, Dirt X, but with, with one turn, like two turn amounts. Two turn I, I don't know if I agree with this. You know, he's running Gaia yeah, as well. well. I feel like he's just like throwing together a bunch of yeah. cards. Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of this. If and that's like that really old grade two, isn't it? Hmm? I'm gonna get spotted. Yeah, it just gets 5k. Yeah, pretty so. lame, but... And, well, this one's also pretty old, so it's like Soul Blast 2 oh to like God. search top 7. I couldn't tell because of the glare. Yeah. And also because I'm blind today. Yeah, he, he, he broke his glasses, so he can't see anything. But... I, I don't know, like, this uses true soul? Where are you getting your soul, right? You just... It's not even running grade 3 check top, right? I think... I don't know. It's no, he's, no, he's got one A. Yeah, it feels like it feels like a scrappy deck. Yeah. So, mm. don't really agree with it. Yeah, don't but agree with it. Hey. Uh, next one we have is Narukami. Narukami this yep. is a Melon Playman, man. Oh, nice. That's Melon. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Um, I think this is pretty standard. Again, I think a lot of the Vanquishes have moved to this uh, um, this this new PR. Yeah. That that we've seen in the last few times when we've seen Narukami. We don't see Narukami that much anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like running six draw. And yeah, I think we've seen like Vanquishes run with books as well, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. Think, oh, that's what I was. I think yeah. Do find here, but no, just no run books. Like units. Yeah, no books. Is it, is, is it true like unrestricted as well? Yeah, yeah. you can take around four, but CB might yeah. be limited. So. Um, you just like this random Phoenix just to be a grade one but slot. You want to have a few bit more. No, 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 not, not Phoenix, not mm -hmm. this one. But you just it, like you're just filling grade one slots, right? Yeah. You don't want to just run eight grade ones, kind yeah. of, if you're not happy. So yeah. Uh, next we have is Nubitama. Um, pretty. This is a pretty standard one now that yeah. we've seen, and it's just you know, standard Mizukaze Nubitama. Mm -hmm. um, doing doing work, doing work. And then DI. DI. All right. DI. So we've seen a lot of different DI builds now. It's just pure dump. Yeah. There's like random Kaguru Grade One <laughs> Nulls here, but yeah. So we've got yeah. It's just DI, and this is. It's it's not like it's it's not running any of the the, the new gimmicks, you know. It's just oh, it's running the great one. Yeah, it's not the great one. Dude, it's not... playing like sixteen great ones. Yeah, of course, because you're playing di, right? Uh, like okay. the, like new Castile gimmicks and all that. Just chuck in the bin, you know. Just play. Yeah, the great two is pretty good though. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm but he's not running the great two. Running it. I don't... We saw a similar list, right, where he doesn't run. Yeah, doesn't yeah, run yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. Great two. It just but... just feels like there's a bit of an overlap between um the two great ones that you want to ride. Yeah, he still has hope and die. I mean, it's eight grade one targets, you know? <laughs> eight True, rideable but... grade one targets, is that, is that it? Yeah. yeah. All right, so next we have is uh, Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers, so, haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, Spike Brothers is quite good, but I don't know what's going on with this list, because... Wait, <laughs> what? It's not rising. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the great tree lineup is pretty... Yeah. ...wild. Like, you expect Rising because Rising's just that good, yep. but this one's just running Dudley Lucifer. And normally you want to clone Dudley Lucifer with mm. something else, but he's not. Mm. He's just running Dudley Lucifer, um, and he's running Siegfried. Like, or Zyfried. Why just, would you run it these days? Yeah, why not just run, like, good cards? Just run Bull Spike and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... That's a hell lot of other better grade threes, but... Mm. Yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know, like, every- if you don't look at the top part, right, if you don't look at here, you're like, yep. oh, okay, this, fine, uh, yeah. it's okay, I can- I can see this, I can- I can kind of see it, maybe. But, you know, this part is just like, what- what is going what, on? What happened there, yeah. Yeah, what happened there, so, yeah. hmm. we, weird fan. spike for the deck. Uh, next is a, a Luar deck, um, mm. but it's not lame, it's running two Apocalypse, two Apocalypse Bat here. Bat's still okay. So, sold out in TCG play, I was looking for them. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, but, you know, seven grade two lineup. That kind of build, you know, for for uh, for knees. I think four knees is becoming surgery. almost a must these days. I think so, yeah. Just because you don't want to brick at grade two, you know, yeah. just don't want to brick there. You don't want to brick your Luard, mm -hmm. and that's the main points where you lose. He's got a VMC mat, the Blaster Blade oh. Highness mat as well. 
So nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, next, we've got the Singapore Gang. Um, you know, we've we've seen this. We've seen this oh, yeah. <laughs> calculator in the the, yep. the girl for uh, very similar deck to what he what Daryl played before. Daryl Kwan, oh. um, familiar name now. Uh, so I think he's like one of the few guys repping Gavril because we actually just don't see that much Gavril anymore. <laughs> I mean, and you probably lose some friends after you played for a while. No, but even so, right? You'd expect people to run a lot of Gavril at like tournaments. Yes, people would just take it to like. Okay even online tournaments stuff, but you actually just don't see that many mm -hmm. so i mean it's a pretty still a toxic deck but i feel like a lot of people don't want a casino their way to win which is all right and then the next we have is a luwad right luwad so look at four spark layout crazy yeah, one of like one of everything right yeah um is this lame so no, it's, no, got, it's, no, it's got a mix two it's two like bats three two bats three knees and, um, three knees yeah. yeah it's cutting off slots here and there it's just a lot okay. And yeah, this is Lewis, so good job, mate. Add a bit of ceiling. <laughs> Next one we have is Mal oh, Malkuth okay. Melek. So, actually, this deck, I think we saw it at different fights last tour where it was just stalling out prisms and stuff like that. Like, yeah, yeah, like the protector can get pretty obnoxious and you just grind so hard, like turn by turn. Yeah, like imagine, imagine you go first against a Gavril with this deck as well. You start yeah, stacking yeah, yeah. up your like. Protect choose as well, and just like just mm, intercept for like intercept. 50k. <laughs> yeah, against any deck that can't retire, you can kind of just stall out and like yeah. just intercept, become very annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, and all those like weird guard districts where they're like, you know, you call two, three cards from your hand. This one is like, you just intercept, dude, just intercept. So it's probably like one, one of the only deck that can multi protect two. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. of the few ones. And I mean, the, 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 the bad thing about this deck is I think it takes too long to play it. So if you go to a Boucher tournament, you might be going to time, right? Like, you're, you're not letting your opponent win, but at the same time, you're also not winning. So game tends to be long. Yeah, like, you don't want to go to time with Boucher tournaments. Uh, it's really like yeah. a remote fight. Like, I, yeah. I mean, at, at DF's tournament, they were playing remote fight, but it did go to time. So you have to learn mm -hmm. to play faster this deck, but sometimes you just can't, right? Because you're playing yeah. kind of a, a semi-defensive defensive, yeah, deck, yeah. you know? Semi-defensive. Like eight, nine turns. Or but no, it's good. It's good if you just go to locals. Um, just just Play it style up. style on your opponents. Yeah. <laughs> Next one that we have is an Astral Port, and yeah, this right. one is okay. This has got a lot Not of high rarity. Decent. Half, Not max. Maybe, but... um, it's from Singapore as well, from Card Nation. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the runner-up. He played Genesis, so so good stuff. Good deck. Uh, and then we are moving on to the, the Stoic mm -hmm. clans. We've got Grand Blue, uh, regularly Thanks, seen right. nowadays. I think it's it's yeah. it's pretty crazy, right? You know, before it kind of dropped off a bit, but then yep. you know, with a few cards, it's it's I cool again. Overall, Beatrice, Beatrice. Yeah, no, like people just underestimate how good Skull Dragon is, right? Yeah, like, he, and, I think nobody expected like four like 60, 70 k attacks on turn five. Yeah, that catches a lot well, not even turn five. Right. You can do it very, very quickly turn whenever you want to, right? Yeah, pretty much, whenever yeah. you want to. But like, I think a lot of people just do underestimate Skull Dragon. They're like, well, I'm at, mm. I'm at four damage. Yep. You know, I can- I've got two nulls. I've yeah, got two thirty Ks. I'll survive. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take your first attack and then suddenly Skull Dragons pop out and like, oh, I can't go. I'm lucky, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about the deck. Yeah, um, another one. Another one, Skull Dragon team. Um, three Beatrice, you know, Beatrice doing one chappy. One random chappy. Uh, this one's actually a hybrid list. Very hybrid? You can perhaps? go to either mode, yeah. Okay, all right. But mostly you want to go not mostly original. Mostly most, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the next one that we have is another one. Another one. That's a, this one is a super is hybrid. It's yeah, a four, 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 four. <laughs> 12. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he how, does he, like, how does he fit the slot for this? He's cutting the navigator out. I, I, I think that's wrong. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have navigator. Well, he, he, put, he put in a mod in, though. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But, you know, you don't need navigator because you don't need, you can have precise, you know, precise milling with no. like some of your cards, right? No, you don't even run the new ghosty. Oh, you don't, eh? You don't wow. have any mill. You have... Why would you run four, four Beatrice then? Um, I don't know. Like, if you want to run four Beatrice, I wouldn't play the great one because you, you just run out of soul. Conflicting. Mm. I'm not sure about this list, actually. Um... And if you don't get your column, but you are boned, you're super you're, boned. You're, you're neuro boned. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, I don't agree with this list. Okay. Think. Okay. All right. Nope. Disagree. Disagree. Stamp of disapproval, nope. unfortunately. Yep. 
Uh, next one we have is Aquaforce. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the, the, day, the, the weekly discussion on why you don't have the shooter sort yet. Uh. Um, yeah, I know. I'm actually surprised Tavis is doing well, you know, because of Pursuit Assault. But we haven't ever. Have we even seen a like a Revan, a Revan with like a well, not a Revan, but um, what was it? Is it what was the guy? The guy that like just came out. What is his name? Values. That's right. I haven't seen any values so far, right? Maybe maybe it's Pursuit's secret plan because they know that if they release Pursuit Assault, no one's gonna play Values. Tavis <laughs> is too much, too too good. Yeah, too but. Good. Now they're not selling any Echo Force in English. Ravon. Uh, yeah, no, Revan's cool, dude. Just play Blue, 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 wing, blue Wings. Blue wing. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, we have a premium deck from Japan again. Oh, oh. Weekly premium deck. This is, this is the, the good stuff. Blaster Remember? Deck. Old school. We've got the Blast deck. <laughs> it's got an over trigger. Yeah. One over trigger. <laughs> the over trigger. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? You guys you guys all want to be. He's not even running a heal. He's like running less heals for that over trigger. Right? Yeah. He's prioritizing the 12 crits. I mean, if you get it in the damage, it's better than a heal trigger. <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's confirmed. And if it's a crit damage, you also stop all of them. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, funny thing is here, like, he's running one cyclone. He's got the vanillas ready. You know, the vanilla blast mm -hmm. blades ready. Uh, you know, he's got the. Uh, so, all the all the all the Alfreds to Dude, give you a force. He's got the um the anime promo blaster blade. Yeah, that's what I said. It's the vanilla yeah. blaster blade, dude. Wait, one of them is foil, is it? No, he's got two. Uh, I think the one behind it is foil, or maybe, maybe it's, it's just the shadow. shadow. Yeah. Maybe it's the shadow. Yeah, hmm. this isn't shadow. It's rock. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see this kind of deck coming back. You know, just yep. just for fun, funsies. This is what. Like Fenrir, the Valkyrian, yeah. Blade Master, that yeah. kind of new Dio. Wow, oh, man, new Dio. Like, this one, this one is a, this one is like the, the original, yeah. yeah, original, disgusting royal deck yep. from two years ago, maybe three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good old premium. All right, that's it for Japan. Let's move on to uh, some VG top decks. All right, so uh, we got an interesting one here. Um, this is from Taiwan. So. Pretty crazy. I go to Taiwan. Uh, I come from Taiwan, right? But every time I go there, I can never find the locals of Vanguard. I've hmm. been looking every couple of years. That one time I go every couple of years, but I can never find it. <laughs> Luck. Yeah, feels bad, man. But yeah, Taiwan. So we've got a Keta Sanctuary deck here. It looks to be quite complete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks. It's it's interesting how he decided to go with this. Um, this is a. Uh, this is shock. Is it shock rock? No, no. It's it's not. It's this is he, not not him. But this is the winner of the the tournament. So yeah, this is interesting. Um, decided to only go with two nulls, but that's just more YOLO opportunities, I guess. I mean, nulling is two cards. If you trigger a grade three, you kill your opponent. So yeah, right. Like, why do you need a null when you could just kill you know, your opponent? Whenever you play Keter and you trigger a grade one or two, and they're oh no, it's yeah. gonna cost me my game. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> yeah, so like you could run four nulls or you could run less. Wait, so how many threes is actually here? Let's count. Just so one, two, three, four, five. So minus thirty-three minus five, right? It's like twenty-eight. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Twenty. So twenty-eight grade threes. Well, there you go. That's mm. your number. I think it's like, well, some of these cards are kind of interesting. Running this divine sister that uh, restands when you trigger a trigger, if you counter blast <laughs> two. So this is like, you take one, so you could probably yep. restand. So you can go five attacks as well. Basically. Yeah, you can. If you go like three trigger, you can multi attack. Well, if you double trigger, you can still multi attack as like well. It's like you'll never attack only three times unless you trigger two nulls. Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, but I, like you run four facades this on hit counter charge and soul charge, but, like that's kind of unreliable because I feel like you know everyone who's smart kind of can guard it. Yeah, but you can you can also restand it, so it gets really annoying. Yeah, um, you got the reflux to pump it up. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the the order, the two orders. I guess he wants more draws because you have Auden you have to counter draw. charge as well. So no, well yeah, it's unreliable counter charge though. Yeah, but it it stacks up its value. Mm. Yeah, but he's got four Ordens, and I guess he just wants more draws, so yes. he wants two more of the Order. And, you know, he's got two of the uh, the Thick Witch, which is just on discard. Counter Blast, one Soul Blast, one Draw card. Mm. And he's got four of the Dark Strain, which is pretty important. It makes yep. everything be able to boost. So you just commit your whole field of threes and boost, and then you've yep. got your nice-looking Angel here, which Same. is extra shield. So yeah, um, pretty kind of... I think this deck just really revolves around 
how deep you want to go. You know, how deep you want to go. It's Azura Kaiser on steroids. Yeah, That's... yeah. No, yeah, 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 pretty much. I think it's actually, it's, it's 29. It's 29 grade, grade threes. Because I was counting, what, 17 for the zeros, but we have the zero here. So oh. there's only 16, so there's 34 cards, 29. 29, 29 yep. yeah. Um, but yeah, it just depends how far you want to. Normally, people won't go that far. They'll run for the like, oh, right? 20, 22, 24. Bruh. Yeah, no, well, I, I, in my build, uh, I, I ran four nulls. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I, I actually I posted it like yesterday. Hmm. But yeah, so there's four nulls, but this guy just decides to go less. You can go even lower, you know, just don't run nulls. Just I run zero, you, zero, one, two. If only you have like, I don't know, null triggers. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, he's running like no draws. He's running three fronts as well. Yeah, I think draw trigger is just super low value. Yeah, but you, I guess, I guess. If you're running these kind of draws, I guess you can just take out the draw and just run fronts, right? So like. I don't know, if you want to compare it with um, V, right? Getting yeah. a draw trigger is like getting one card, and your cards are generally okay, even the great ones have 10k shield. But in D, draw trigger is like, it's 5k power, it's 5k shield, and the cards that you draw is potentially at what, grade 1, 2, 3, or another trigger. Yeah, yeah. So, drawing it is really bad. Mm. Okay. Might, it's like, back old days, if you get it, might as well just slap it on the field and use it to attack. Well, you can just use it to uh, discard for ride chains, man. How good is that? You can discard it for Bash's effect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Uh, nice to see some overdress formats mm -hmm. coming out. And uh, next one we have is a... Uh, well, this one is just a uh, hobby union, Brunei. They did a start deck tournament. Um, a lot of Ketters, so this was, this was your team, you know. Maybe so you add this one up with the one before. Hmm. Oh, Dark State's still winning. I think it's a tie, right? It's like Dark Stays will be nine, and then yep. Kettle will be nine. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, no, this is one Kettle from before. No, that doesn't count. It's on the start deck tournament, too. It's on the start deck, dude. It's Kettle. Kettle uh, must race. Yeah. We got Vision. We got Vision tournament. Um, they did a team tournament this time team tournament for nice. standing. 13 teams. That's yeah. 39 people. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. Winner was team not ditched by crew. <laughs> and uh, they took, what, Reindeer or Highlander, probably, and then Regalia and. Uh, Spectral, spectral. Okay. Uh, again, like there's, there's no, ga there's like it's one Gavriel. Interesting how the first and second place have the same decks. Maybe they're friends, dude. Huh. Maybe they're friends. These are all names that you normally see hanging out together, right? <laughs> but yeah, no. I like one thing is just there's no, there's one Gavriel. You, you mm. like in a teams, shouldn't you take Gavriel if you think it's like a really good deck? But is it like what? There's two dudes. Mm. So kind of, kind of weird. Um, let's look at the list. So Highlander. Um, good stuff, you know, congratulations. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, two Lauras, nice, nice. Yeah, there's, there's the, there's a spice. Uh, second place, we got the Himiko Regalia, so. Himiko. Oh. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Um, I haven't seen that in a while, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's seeing... always been like, um, Divine Gage or like, Fenrir. Or just Regalia oh, Pure, yeah. you know, just run the new Angelica, but this guy went like, no, Himiko. screw Angelica, dude. Just run Himiko, dude. Old school Himiko. Yeah, it still works. Just get a crit, hit big, hope for the best. And then, um, lastly, we've got the Spectral Duke. And this one is pretty... It's pretty good list. Pretty standard, yeah. It's, it's, yep. it's, it's something I'd agree with. It's the know? correct grade 3, it's the correct grade 2 and 1s. They got the Kaiden Hole, which yep. is... Feels the perfect Tops, slot. You know? So good stuff, good stuff. Uh, and what, BB Exceed, yeah. We see, we see that name quite a bit hmm. on online tournaments. Uh, next we have is... Ybars from ENTCG, their tournament? ENTCG Wait. was Weiss man, man. That's what I thought, yeah. But like, they did a Vanguard tournament, Vanguard so... Well. Okay, yeah, this guy, cool. this guy got, I think it was, looks like he got top 8 with Prism, so, so good job. Uh, clearly taking one of the best decks in the format. Mm, that's, yep. that's correct, doing it right. And this list is... It's pretty standard. Yeah, it's pretty standard. All the good so stuff. You know, take out one Docker, put in two Spiana. Yeah, that. Boom. So good job, good job, bro. This is a remote tournament. Uh, and then the next one we have is uh, Danimus. He, uh, he got top eight with Prisms on different five tournament on, on last Saturday, which I think he's just playing the same list as the one before. You know? Yeah, very. It's pretty well, pretty figured copy. out. Carbon copy. Yeah. copy, yeah. Pretty figured out. Uh, yeah, he got top eight and lost to Malk with Milk. I think. Yeah, I think we <laughs> saw that game. That was the one yeah, where it was like, a super grindy game. Yeah, the one where like, well, after a while, yeah, this deck has trouble just dealing with the huge intercepts and all the protect twos. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's okay. Good good stuff. Um, and then the next one we have is uh, Matt. He he got top three at mm. Gym Fights tournament, mm. um, running Pacifica. So he's saying sorry to Australia. Oh no! Got to got to put on that that face of disapproval, Kelvin. Look at this. Mm. 
No, 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 no. DF, save us. No, no, no. <laughs> Can't put that on the screen. My God. Yeah, gonna gonna see see you next year, boys. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's playing Pacifica, and I'm pretty sure he took this Pacifica just to just to troll. <laughs> just, what, you bring heal triggers? Yeah, he brought heals, you know. Brought basically just all the good stuff, yep. plus Pacifica, right? Yep. Like, plus... Because you can proxy at different parts of so you got to proxy the dirty one. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> oh, no, that's proxy. I thought he actually has like four copy of that. Oh, no, dude. Bro. If you have it, he would he'd, he'd be he'd be in jail. Oh wait, that's also Japanese and English. That's why. Yeah, no, it's uh, Japanese only. If they print it in English, yeah, bad times. Uh, next, we have got Beckham from Card Nation oh, yeah. uh, with his uh, tournament. He came second. It looks like first place was Prisms, uh, Prism Orange, right? Uh, with Perla. Perla and one Tira. Yeah. I think at the back. So is that what, yeah, probably. Yes. I think that's a Tira. I think mm. that's a Tira. Yeah. So pretty good list. Yeah. I think this is similar to a list we saw earlier as well. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the prism lists. So kind of this maybe two lines of play there because you're running Arms, you can play the Pearls and all yeah. that. Um, and then second place with Beckham, he was running. Uh, no, no, he was. No, this is a Beckham. Second place was just Astral Ports, which is some some <laughs> one he doesn't know. Uh, this guy's running heals and draws. Mm -hmm. So, well, no, actually, this is a crit. This crit, dedicated, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, 10 crits. And, um, nearly bling. Nearly bling. And then, third place was, yeah, this is Beckham's playmat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is, is the same picture as before? You know? Nah, it's bling? different. It's, it's different? different. Sliding. Dude, how many of those, like, Asuka markers? <laughs> I think these uh, are really cheap because they're Excel really? 1, right? Uh, they're Excel the 1, yeah. and they, it wasn't. These markers aren't, like, super small print like the second generation mm -hmm. so i think they're okay i mean it's xl1 that's the problem <laughs> but yeah no it's highland art with the two laura yep. so woo. Good uh, stuff. next we've got i think singapore again uh, this is the singapore agc online discord tournament uh first place was prisms Prism. so yeah Another, yep good day. prisms orange yeah, with the one tier yeah and so. yeah pearl sisters so yeah, so here's a question, right? Hmm. Pure Prism or Prism Orange? Like that's, I think oh. this is pretty popular. This 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 looks like it's picking up in popularity. Yeah, I know everyone's just like, oh, it's more it's more Bermuda. I think <laughs> Pure Prism is okay, but it sort of lacks that extra ceiling that you need to kill someone off if they just. But have do you think effect. Orange gives you that extra ceiling? I don't know. Oh. Maybe maybe we need to test this. Yeah, we need to test this. Um, then okay, uh, Beckham. All right. Oh no, it's a different, it's a yeah, different layout because he's got a Shadowverse, yeah. he's got the world there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, they, they, they're they the same, they're all Singapore, right? So they have like heaps of tournaments together. Uh, I mean, you can go to any locals. <laughs> Next we've got Karan. It's the Karan Patel. Yeah, he didn't go last week, oh. but, well, he didn't go, I think a few weeks, one, one, one of the few weeks mm -hmm. ago, but you know, he joined again and won, so he's still undefeated. You know, yep. you've got you to pick stuff. your matchups, right? One yep. week, you might not feeling the best, you feel your luck is down, just don't go, right? You've got to... Keep your 100% win rate. This is basically, I think he settled on this deck, right? He settled mm -hmm. on this build of the deck. Yep. He showed us to us. He showed it to us the other, other week, and yeah, it's just the lame Loire list yep. that, that just works. I think we have the similar idea. Very, and, uh, yeah. I think very we, bling. Currently, we're playing this list as well. Yeah, very bling. It could get blinger though, right? Isn't there In a English? higher rarity? There should be a higher rarity, right? Because there's the altered art one. Is that in English? Hmm. I, th I think it, I think it is. Yeah. Well, let me know. He changed his user ID to King Luard, I think. <laughs> King Luard. At King Luard. Fitting. Yeah. Very fitting. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, next, we've got Miss Greg King from the ENTCG Remote Fight Tournament as well. Mm -hmm. It was first place, so we get to see a Luard list. And this is the the lame it's one again? Sex, yeah. same one. No, one card difference. Um, it's bringing three Luards. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. Two and four of the grade three. What is, is that? Hidden? Is that a cartridge? You know what that is? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I mean, he's got a body fight mat as well. It's a very old body fight mat. Wow. Yeah. Well, well loved. Well loved body fight mat. But yeah, Lawad representing, uh, it's good. There's a reason why it's, well, we rate it top tier, right? Well, it's been around for such a long time. And like, technically all its contenders at the moment, they're quite, I mean, you know. It's it's worst matchup was Gurgit. Yep. That's, that's and gone. Gurgit's gone. <laughs> so, pretty good deck. Yeah. Pretty good deck. Uh, second place was. Do we have a second place? Yeah, we have a prism. So this mm -hmm. is pure prism. Um, no, no nectar with Gurgit. Two, two nectaria <laughs> with Gurgits. 
Um, this one, he's running three Smyana, so that's kind of interesting. Oh no, he's got two, two Nuktari. Yeah. yeah, okay, two Nuktari. My bad, my bad. So, um, good old Prism. Uh, third place, third, fourth place, mm. I mean. Uh, we get to see Malkuth Melek, all right? Again. Yeah, good good stuff, good stuff. He's it's a bit blurry, buddy. Yeah. yeah, a bit blurry. Oh, it's even got um the Zerakiel? Yeah, Zerakiel. So I haven't seen that yeah, for a while. Zerakiels? Why why is Zerakiels, man? Why is Zerakiel? Can Sekmo protect two, right? <laughs> I guess. I, I think guess. So, I guess some matchups protect two. So I guess you can yeah, I guess you can kind of turbo out a, a hospital or something yeah, like that. Maybe, maybe something, like, something like that. Yeah. I, I want to test this, but I want to get Divine Lightning Radiance, dude. No, I still haven't got them. <laughs> yeah, we haven't we haven't farmed locals enough. <laughs> and then lastly, we've got Narukami. Narukami so yeah. Vanquisher. Yeah. Um, oh, no books. And no books. He doesn't even run the Phoenix. He just went all out. Eight, eight grade ones only. Nope. Plus one. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Oh, I'm blind. Yeah, but I actually have glasses. So yep. So maybe maybe you should. I should just give you my glasses. And then, while blind, I can still see. Right. Sometimes it's not about looking. It's about... Feeling the cards. Feeling the cards? Yeah, you're feeling the cards yep. with your, uh, I don't know, with your, what is it? Your feng shui, with chi. <laughs> uh, three, three Rancusha here. Um, yeah, it's just okay. doable, doable. He's running all churros. Four churros. So he doesn't run the PR guy, or lady. Mm. Uh, runs four rock climb and, and the old... Uh, They're sort of swappable, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's... Very malleable, mm -hmm. you know, the, the grade 2 lineup, you can literally chuck in whatever you want to put it's in. It's very similar things to, you know, you're buying stuff in yeah. Battle Fest, things pop back up. Yeah, pretty much like the, the required slots are just your 8 grade 1s, you literally don't really yep. deviate much from there, and yeah. your tutorials, you know, and your tutorials. And your grade 2 is like so, so free. Yeah, so, good stuff, good stuff. Um, next we have is, uh, Premium MLB. Tournament. B? No, this, this is, is standard. No. Wait, wait, I think this is Premium. Sorry, this is Premium for because I forgot. No. It's standard. Oh. It's V Premium is standard. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I read it wrong. It's right, V Premium. It was V, and then the next set was was Premium. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so yeah, we got MLB. Um, MLB, really? I think I'm starting to see a lot more MLB. Yeah, than, no. Than, uh, uh. Sanctuary God. Yeah, where did the Sanctuary oh. Gods go? You know. But see, the thing is, Sanctuary God requires you to have three Great One back rows, and that can sometimes be problematic. Whereas MLB is a lot more flexible, and you have you also have like the order that searches, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah. He plays two copies, so you know you deck in more. It doesn't require you to drop as much cards on the field. Well, I think, I think you kind of do because you suck in everything, right? Mm. And then I mean you get a lot of force markers, but I guess I guess triple drive is pretty good. You have a better matchup against chaos. True. True. Yeah. So. I guess it's kind of interesting, like... Hmm. Like, I think in a way, both decks are similar. Yeah. But, um, MLB has some matchups that I guess get away with. with this, you also generate a lot of soul as well for, like, Jewel yeah. Knights. Oh, yeah. So, Jewel Knights use a soul. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see MLB doing, doing well again. And if you want to really ramp up those forces, you can just, like, do that with MLB, right? Yeah, yeah. Sanctuary Guard, you kind of... Kind of stuck between those like two big turns, two yeah. really big scary turns. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, all right, cool. Next one we had an Arakami, so surprise, surprise. Yep. Uh, this one is PR. Oh, he's got the PR, yeah. Yep. PR boy. And the then one lineups just like those nine <laughs> cards. <laughs> Literally the same. Just those nine cards. Um, yeah, six six great six draw triggers as well, yep. and then the twelve grade the three. Same, yeah. So we, we've seen this quite a few times. And then lastly, we've got whoa, Link Joker, bro. Uh, what CBD. do you want here? Um, he's only four Nordstrom. That's a lot of yeah, Nordstrom Dragon, man. I don't know if you need that many, dude. Yeah. I don't know if you need that many. That seems way too excessive. Um, you write that card, you lose the game. Yeah. Uh, well, you got all of the things here. You've got four draws only. Yeah. Like four draws, a crit. Um, Starting removal, which mm. is nice. And then this is kind of just a what? Just a is it filler? A lot of filler slots, I feel You're like. You've been running great three. Check top. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I can't even remember that card's name. <laughs> huh? Uh, the... Uh, White Dwarf. Something White Dwarf, I think? Lady Battle of the White Dwarf? You know the Link Joker cards. I, I don't. Like, I don't. I just do it as a Grey 3 Surger. Yeah, so no Grey 3 Surger. Wow, that's... That's ballsy. That, it's, that feels wrong, it feels man. feels so wrong. Like, it feels so wrong. Like, your deck relies so, so, so much on <laughs> writing the great, great three. And it's, it's like a 13k, funny. man. Like, <laughs> it's even worse than Luart if you don't write CBD. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. 
I'm, yeah, I don't get This is Indonesia. This is your this is your team, man. This is... If you're that good at like writing the right cards every game, <laughs> sure, go ahead. But I'm not that kind of person. Uh, so. good, from Good Guy Games Indonesia, by the way. This is the shop. Good Guy Games. Good Guy Games. Good mm-hmm. game. Uh, so first one was what? J- Jerry. Second one was Neil. Uh, this is... So he was he was the Naru player. Mm. And third place was Fatal. Okay. All right. And then next we have is... Uh, oh, this is... This is a... Uh, Ibis? Ibis? This is the... This a v, is a pre- premium list? Yeah, it is a premium list. Wow. Huh. This should be moved to the end, but you get to be featured first. Surprise. But yeah, apparently he's been doing doing well. Uh, this is Evan, so he, he's from the WCC Discord. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, he's he's been doing well on premium. Currently first in his shop league, so mm-hmm. good stuff running um, MLB. Well, this is just MLB. I'm looking for like some of the, um, you know, the usual standard premium blaster cards but can't find it well you got blasters you got yeah but you've got that guy that rewrites stuff oh no it only works in alfred so it doesn't work on mlb mlb Hmm. so interesting uh i guess like the cool thing about this is like this kind of generates you know a lot of markets by itself because you just what go crystal luster anyway yeah but you have to spend a turn as mlb don't you no 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 you go to crystal luster so it copies the heart yeah Yeah. so true um, you get a, you get like a, a quad quad drive as well. Yeah. Um, and you just pile it up on blaster blade and. Well, no, no, it's like so you're gan- usually you're a Gansler, right? That's a quad drive. Yeah. But Crystal Lost the copies of Vanguard, so yep. you get a plus so one drive. So you have a quad yeah. drive, yeah. and then you make three force markers that turn. Yeah. Because of uh, you ride and you get two from yeah, the effect. Yeah. yeah. So I think it, it's kind of similar to that, and then you kind of just go into um, your blaster play next turn. And you mean flogal? Still... Hmm? You mean flogal? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a flogal deck. Yeah. And the nice, it? nice thing is that you're still in an 18k. Yes. So that's that's a cool yep. idea. Yeah. And it's got just a lot of nice force markers, but well. tanky. Yeah. Huh. yeah. And then just what you can flip up a gan slot to make give it resist. Yep. And yeah, so it's pretty good. It's, it's nice. Good stuff. Very honest deck. Very honest. Very fair. You know. Very, very fair. fair. Yeah. You're giving your opponent <laughs> a chance. <laughs> Uh, next, we've got Checkmate Vanguard from Rivals Gaming. Uh, Standard. First place is Regalia, so this mm. is pure Regalia. We recently oh, got. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, we recently got the uh, the clan selection, um, so mm-hmm. we can start seeing an action. And we've got this guy's running Thrud. Well, this is basically all the new clan selection. They just they just kind of put all the clan selection stuff together, right? Yeah. <laughs> so clan selection stuff. Uh, this is the the PR great PR. So I think this is just just good old standard Regalia deck that we've been seeing quite a bit. Um, then first place, this came first place. Uh, second was Prism. Third was SGD Jewel Knights. So not MLB, not MLB, but all right, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, next we have is a, a Philippines Remote Fire oh. Tournament. So uh, first top three was Melody, Gabriel, and Chaos, but they all had four one record. One each. <laughs> um, they just they played till two a.m. Apparently two a.m. I mean, um. Tournament went a bit long, was it? When did it start? Like, how do you... <laughs> 2 a.m.? We've, we've stayed till like 12 or 11, but <laughs> 2 a.m. is quite wild. Uh, we, we see a Gabriel list, so this is this is the stuff we haven't uh, seen that much. Yeah. yeah. We can see it's, it's 15 strong. crit, yep. 15 crit, one, one draw. One draw. Um, this was, this was, uh, mm. this was the player who submitted it. So, I think it's Jim Chris. He, his name is just a, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Is it a gorilla? Character. I can't see. Is it, is it, oh yeah, oh, I'm of course you can't see, that's right. It's a good excuse. Uh, next we have is a uh, Link Joker. Um, you can see this guy's layout is very good. <laughs> right? if, you, if you guys can read it, it says... Nihongo Jozu. Yeah, Nihongo this Jozu. <laughs> this is Locke in Karakana. Uh, this is the kind of uh, deck layout you want to aspire to, to do. Right? This, is a, this is a good layout, Spout good stuff. thumbs up. Um, three Nordstrom though, I think it's a bit bit too much. Mm. But this is a kind of um this is pretty much my list, nearly my list. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like probably like two similar, cards different. Very, very similar. Yeah. But you know, the idea you've got what the, the two open dark eights yep. and this uh singularity sniper, I think. Just for your bad matchups, this is 15k. This gets you free cards when your printer doesn't commit things to the field. You know what I've been doing with this deck? Well because the games get so long, you actually manage to like stack your bottom deck. <laughs> Wow. With the bangles and like the check top twos. But you ruin it with this, dude. Oh, you never played them out. Still playing that? Wow. What a, what a player, dude. <laughs> hey, what, like, you never search with your uh, your Craven Claw? It doesn't hit, right? Wow. 
Who are you playing against? Man? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, cool, cool, good, good old, good old, uh, not the one, Chaos Breaker. Chaos Dragon. Breaker. Meaning, work. Meaningful layout. Meaningful layout. Um, we've got a melody listed as well. Oh. Uh, let me bring it up because I think it didn't get featured. I mean, it's Plon. Plon? So, no. I played Plon say. last week. It was a. Uh, I don't know. I think if you go second, you just lose. No, I, no, you do all right. It just went second against all the Excel decks and they rushed me <laughs> and I didn't get a damage check. So feels bad, man. It feels bad. Unlucky. Uh, he, he went pretty risky. He's not running any Fina's at grade oh, yeah. two. So, so he has less instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, runs has less defense. Yep. So more success, more susceptible to getting rushed maybe. Mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, good job. Uh, next we've got a uh, different fight. He finally won locals oh, yes. so he can get featured. And um, he's Hold playing on. Grand Blue. I've seen this list somewhere. This is your favorite. This is your favorite nation. Yep. Favorite nation. Best deck. But... Best deck. Mm, uh -huh. Are you gonna be picky? What are yeah, you gonna I be, have picky, to be picky about? Your heal trigger should be ghosty. Oh. I know Banshee looks way better, but just in those games that you have to, <laughs> you ended up riding. Um. Because you can go down, right? What? This, this guy can go down to the ghosty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, if you just call it in the regard, it can intercept for like 35. Uh, ah, that's right. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually, actually legit. Matters, actually <laughs> matters a lot. Um, but wow, you know, if it's all right, it's for fun. It's yeah. for fun. Now, now you've learned. Now you learn. You actually have to take. Well, I, I'd say the ghosty oh, heal looks better than the banshee. Right? Hell no, the banshee looks way better. No, what do you what do you want about, dude? The ghosty guy looks like. The coolest dude, dude. Would you hang out with the Banshee or the Ghosty? Banshee. I'd hang out with the Ghosty, dude. He, he looks like a bro you can hang out with. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the grass is green on the other side. You always play with the Ghosty. I guess you want to try out the Banshee. But you can't, you know? Because Ghosties are just superior in Grand Blue. No, it's the way to put a Banshee deck. Right, are you gonna play? Are you gonna play the Banshee in your in your premium Grand Blue? Hell no. That's right. That's right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you even, just answered your own question. It's even way more like <laughs> reason to play the Ghosty in like a premium deck. But anyway, uh, but in V premium, you also play the Ghosty. So. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, all right. Good job. Good job, Chris. Uh, next we have is got Singapore, oh. uh, not Singapore, Vietnam. Vietnam. Uh, this is, they, they had a team tournament, so this is yeah. standard. Uh, this is top True. two. They have 14 teams, 42 players. Gee. Mm, wow, yeah. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, this was Team Revenger, and they played Genesis Fenrir. That sounds very premium. Second place, yeah. Uh, this is top two, yeah, yeah. So probably second place. Uh, this is my Tui Chan. Mm -hmm. uh, second, the second was Gold Spectral Duke, which was mm -hmm. played by Min Koi. And then last, their last play was a Shadow Mordred. For Mordred. Played by Trong Koi as well. That's a name I haven't heard for a while. Yeah. All right. So um, let's look at the list. Genesis Fenrir. Uh, Genesis Fenrir. Um, Fairly standard. Yeah. Well, it is standard. Yeah. Ah, no. V no, premium. No, no infinite. Well, it's standard for us, right? In English, it's still standard for us sure. because we haven't gotten over the rest yet. So technically, that's correct. Um, yeah. Pretty, pretty standard. Genesis Fenrir. I think we don't see this much as much anymore, right? It's just yeah. all the regalia. Sort of like a filler card, but yeah. Um, so good job, good mm. job, bringing something original. Uh, next we have is that um, Spectral Duke, right? So with right. one Bestock. One Bestock. It's fine. The, the rest of the deck seems very solid. It's got yeah. some interesting. Is it a one one down. extra draw? No, no. He's got three three null draw and one thirty k, but with one more extra vanilla draw here. Hmm. Wait, only Wait, two heals? Two heals. Huh. Two heals. That's okay, I haven't <laughs> thought about that before. Oh, he's got the uh He's running um the null um Actually he's got a bunch of weed stuff here as well. Oh, three cards. I have seen that great one being played. This is a grade two. Oh is that two? Grade two, then this is the Providence Angel. Oh, okay. The, yeah, the grade two just discard one top three search. Top right. three I core was... one, yeah. Hmm. Um interesting. But yeah, only only two of the grade one uh, grade three search. Only three well. Percivals as well. Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. This one turned from nice a co cookie cutter list to a very interesting teched out list. And then lastly, we've got Shadow Mordred. <laughs> Mordred. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this Ren, man. All these Rens, dude. Screenshots. <laughs> uh, yeah. We haven't seen Shadow Mordred in a while. He's running um, the Superior Ride Engine, right? Yeah, Superior yeah, Ride Engine. Um, into Mordred. We've got that stuff. N the mains, you know. You mm -hmm. Seeing the main again. Ever since she got cut from the wad train, 
and gets reprinted as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah. So all right, mortar still doing work. Still doing work. Five attacks, man. Well, everyone has five attacks, attacks yeah, now. Everyone has five attacks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, then next we have the the winner team. Mm. So top one. All right, top one. This oh. is team Gikun Dork. Butchered that name. Sorry. Uh, this we had fir their first play was Hoang Kwa. Mm -hmm. Kagu, uh, his good old list. Uh, second was uh, Kim Hong Kim Wong with Bermuda Verts, and last mm -hmm. one was Min Sang with Nightmare Grand mm -hmm. Light Rose Grand Blue. All right, so look, look at the pose. Dude. It's like, Very meta. Is this, can like you do the pose? Yeah. All right. Uh, then let's look at the list. So we've got the Kagu one here. Um, is it teched out? He's got oh, he's got that Griffin. Yeah, he's got a Griffin. Is that? Few. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always nice to see. See his list slashes. It's always, it's always, it's always got the yeah different, different ideas going yeah. for it. The Vietnam lists are very, they, they have their creative. Yeah, yeah, add their own touch to it, right? Yeah, yeah so like very personalized list. I like that. Uh, there's only two grade three searches. Oh. Which is, you know, you can do oh, it because so you, you, yeah. you have Igni Road. Yeah. So, so you have cool. six. Mm -hmm. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. Um, the next we got the Bermuda Vert, so how do you make this spicy? Can you can you well for the for the Okay, that's that's already that's spicy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it is just pretty pretty yeah, pretty the, simple. The one yeah. slot is for um compact charge. So. Yeah, and then lastly we've got the Night Rose Grand Blue. You ready? Mm. Bam. Let's declare. Uh, well, uh, four Night Rose, two Beatrice, three Skull Dragons, three yeah. Night. Ro this is the I think this is a Cutlass. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah. a good great one. So they used to be cutless. So this is this possible. is a very normal. He's only he's got the two two split as well. Yep. It's the one you like, right? You like the yeah, it's actually good. you don't even like the two two split. You just run nah. four four crit. Dude, I just love creating people with yeah. skull dragons and <laughs> cry. Okay, all right. So good stuff, good stuff. And then uh, next we've got the uh... Ooh. premium. This is Perth. They played premium. This is like surprisingly high hard central. Yeah, surprisingly, this they didn't. Win with a tryhard deck. It's it's gold paladin. Actually, a fair deck in premium now. Yeah, actually, turn um, six, crazy. You know, it's not, it's not so, a loot deck. Well, it is a loot. He's got the nah, GB8 loot. Yeah, you so, can go but, either either what? GB8 or Ultima with um null restrict. Yeah, well, either way, that's yeah. so slow, man. It's so slow. Yeah, you're not <laughs> killing your opponent that great too. Yeah, he's not. Okay, so interesting. He's not running any platinum, so that's those the old, old mm. platinum spear X combos are gone. But I guess you yeah. can't really do it anymore because you don't have like the super wonder as players. Yeah, right? yeah, you don't. So you have to actually use CB now. Yeah, crazy. Who's gonna give you CB? Yeah, who's gonna give you CB in this meta? <laughs> yeah, how, how did he win? You know, there's, there's like you know, Genesis Fenrir, there's, there's Valks, and <laughs> but no, he won. Uh, Darren won. Darren, you won. If you go first, I think this deck is pretty decent. Really? Has really? a chance. Mm. Dude, just like playing standard, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got a Kagero. Uh, played by Tham. Oh, no. well, he didn't even he didn't even bother sleeving half his G zone, dude. Look at this. Are these? Did he even play? Is this Photoshop? <laughs> um, yeah, this is a Blade Master loop. Uh, he's running a lot of stands. See, there's one one thing I hate more than just stupid loops. What? Easier, easy loops. It's not a. It's not an easy loop, dude. You have to flip stands. All right. It's it. It's kind of hard. <laughs> we need to get this thing hit seriously. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Uh, yeah. Good job, Than. Uh, next, we got Jin playing uh, Great Nature. I think this is pretty. Oh. Yeah. It's. I think it's got the the, the solemn tech, before. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, with the Krayl element to try and survive. Like slightly defensive, but you can also like steal wins with Zoa. Yeah, oh, well, like, the problem with Great Nature has always been that you had a weak early game, and this kind yeah. of helps you with your early game, because it's like, what, yes, a null, right? Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he's got three Rhinos? It's three Rhinos, right? I think... Mm. Do you really run three Rhinos? I think you run less, right? Can you, can oh, he's not running... He's not running the, um, the Big Belly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so he's got a lot more space there. Okay. Okay, all right, cool. Builds. Mm. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we've got Murakubo from Ori. Look at this newer dial list, right? Well, oh, he didn't <laughs> win? Oh. No, because it's a Kagura, dude. Is that a Zambaku? Yeah, this is a Zambaku, eh? What do you do with Zambaku in this deck? I don't know. <laughs> What's Zambaku doing doing there, dude? It's chilling. <laughs> no, maybe maybe that's his favorite card. So he's, you've got to put it Avatar. in his... Avatar. His, his Avatar, you know. Okay, fair. 
It's a weird avatar, but you know. <laughs> I, I like Zambaku. Well, if you ride Zambaku, you can can you search that central of the rest star? And I then should, I think you can. You search for a rest star, right? I think yeah. So you search the rest star, but then that turn is just it's kind of a waste, right? What are you doing that to? You're not doing anything. <laughs> like, I was expecting to see like the left and right kind of rester in case you um... want us to do some weird play, but okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, so per that was Perth's premium. And this is also no Zarzan, yeah? Uh, yeah no Zarzan, no Zarzan. It's got four Huangs, it's good enough, dude. Yeah. Uh, next we've got is uh, a Seiso, so this is from Melbourne. Mm -hmm. He's playing Kaiguru, but surprisingly, oh. it's a legit Kaiguru, it's Overlord. It's just a yeah, this is the Overlord that everyone's. It's an overlord list, you know, not a, not a, not a dead list. <laughs> he, wait, he's running. Is he running four of the new null? What? Is that already out as a PR? Hmm. Wow, very, very sick. Look at that flex, man. What a flex. <laughs> One thing. Oh no, came third. Oh. Came third. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. It's because he played a fair deck, dude. He played <laughs> yeah. a fair deck. He didn't play an unfair deck. Well. Um. Yeah. So Overlord, Overlord's pretty good, man. He's got Denial Griffin. Yeah. It's like you it's know, you, you multi attack, you crit, <laughs> you hit hard. You have fours. You, you play yeah. standard. Yeah. Come and on. It's, it's it's. You retire. You deny some of your opponent's plays. Oh, uh, he said Twin Buckler really helped with conserving hand of V series. That is true. Mm. Because you go low, low hand count, and then wow, you don't have to discard for a null anymore. Yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy text, man. Uh, his, his, what is his, G-Zone? Is his G-Zone? Four, yeah. four Ace? So, is it Ace? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, so pretty standard, standard G-Zone. Um, and then lastly, we've got, lastly, we got this uh, NLK list. Like from hybrid list. Yeah, from Brotherhood Games. Uh, from the real Notorious set. So, uh, good job. Uh, coming second. It was second. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, kind of a hybrid list. We've seen that those Brufas lists. Yeah. Brufas lists with Gastille where you sit around. Just like, and, like one shot. Yeah, one shot with the billion crit with the Gastille. Mm -hmm. And this NLK, I think, gives you some options early game if you take some damage. If they've rushed you, um, you can kind of ride up and then go back down if you want yeah, to. Yeah, still the tech, yeah. Or just do multiple attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Just do multiple attacks and soul in a bunch of stuff. Which leads to a Gasteel next turn yep. anyway. Kind you build of thing. up soul. You're not just you know passing turns doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, and like as long as you get them to five, as long as you survive the next turn, which yep. admittedly can be hard, uh, Gasteel can just close games off by you know just yeah, they're at yeah, five, yeah. they take a damage, lose. And so. NLK can also get you like two um, protects. It gets some decks mm, pretty useful. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're running uh, what four of the this, this the, the PR that gets rid of stuff is I think it's retired yeah. itself to soul charge true. Yep. I was going to get rid of like Huangs and stuff so you can Huang, play a yes. lane game and things like that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so yeah, okay, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool DI list. Um, I think we, it's like DI list are all just between like, what, the old NLK mm -hmm. kind of common, there's the Shahalot restands mm -hmm. and then things taking with Castile. So, yeah, just like the standard approach and the premium approach. <laughs> so. so this is kind of one of, yeah. one of everything. Um, and then lastly, we have uh, another list here, let me... And lastly, we've got another submission. Uh, this time, I think this is standard. So mm. this is a standard Necrocards tournament. Um, and it's just a Prism, Prism Arch. Three Arch, nothing three else. Three yeah. No nothing Jura, else. no Pearl Sist, there's just three Arch. It's three Arch. Yeah, maybe you like, maybe he likes Arch. It's a flex slot, flex yep. slot. Can so just check it in. Want. It could become Nectar Nectaria later. <laughs> Arguable. Yeah, um, but yeah. That is that is all the lists for this week. So crazy, crazy amount of decks again. Hmm. Um, I think it's gonna get more next week, right? Because of the new stuff that's coming out. Oh man! Hi, everyone's just counting down to Saturday. Start and, um, off overdress of a new era. The beginning of a new era. You know, start decks was this week. Next week, mm -hmm. new decks. So we probably will see a lot less V. We'll see. Like, well, V we'll oh. probably see from the West. Yes. And yes. then in Japan, we'll pretty much be, probably be uh, all just standard, right? Just I don't know. Did this overdress first booster, or they feel so much more exciting than um, V first booster? Well, V first booster came with three playable decks because Nova was. Un <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, comes with ten decks, and probably like eight is playable, right? Yeah. At least cool. eight is playable, so it's pretty cool. I think should be good. So. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Are mm -hmm. you guys hyped for next week's top decks? Mm -hmm. um, 
like and subscribe. Apparently only 50% of you guys are subscribed, so what? If, if you like it, click that subscribe button. Yeah. And and I think smash the bell, right? Mm. And then um what was it? If you want to submit your decks, put in go to Twitter, put on your your deck mm -hmm. hashtag #vg top decks. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have Twitter, you can go to Discord and yep. we have a little channel set up for VG Top Deck submissions that you can put your deck in there and we'll take a look at take a look at it next week. All right. So anything you want to add, Kelvin? Mm, hopefully, I'll have my glasses next week. Yeah, so we can see. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. All right. So that's it. That's a good week, and we'll see you guys next time. In right? overdress. In overdress. Well, you'll see him. I'll see him probably another video. But yeah. Bye. <laughs>